is the high school game. This podcast is live for me. It's Sam. Hello, everybody. My name is Marcus Walker. Thank you for watching to today's edition of High School Game Day. These two teams are facing off for the first time this year. Billy beat them twice last year. Once at the beginning of the season and in the season. The Skeezer Championship, Billy went on to go to the Skeezer Championship last year, and now they're looking at a good rematch between these two teams. Billy trying to make sure that last year's wins is not a fluke, but that's what I'm trying to make sure that uh, they try to get revenge against Billy Lippin. So it'll be interesting to see how this game goes tonight. For Billy Lippin, they had a bye week last week, but they defeated the Hawk 53-6. Um, try to be what's a big factor in that game, having over 200 yards passing. They have a great duo in Kyle Wright and in Trav Beatty. So with those two, it'll be great to see how that matches up against the Hammond defense and that defensive line who has great two sophomores who has D1 prospects all over them. Uh, they are pretty much a great duo against that offensive line that Bill Lippin will be bringing against. So it'll be interesting to see how them get to the backfield against Trav Beatty. They also have a transfer from Dutch Park and Blake Harris. That'll be a great addition for the Bill Lippin offensive line who is committed to Army. So it'll be good to see how that can match up against the two sophomores of Hammond's defensive line. For Hammond, they defeated Lawrence Mann, 35-21. Corbett Glick is having a great season so far, having 10 total touchdowns. Seven of those are for passing touchdowns, so he leads the millions in those type of stats. Uh, they got Cleo Canty, who has over 200 yards receiving, and Hale Crosswell to have over 200 yards rushing. So they have a great tandem as for making things happen against this Ben Lippitt defense who they bring in by, you know, they play against University Christian at the beginning of the season. They lost 44-14, to but they shot out Heathrow Hall, which is a pretty good win for them. But at the same time, they're going against tougher competition as for the Hammond Skyhawks. Uh, for Hammond, they have two D1 prospects, of course, with Huntley and Jordan Birch. So with that being said, we look for a great matchup tonight. Here are the keys to the game for Ben Lippin. They got to make sure they score early. Hammond has a tendency of holding teams under um, whatever points they do average. I know Lawrence Manning averaged 63 points when they played them, but they only held it to 21. So it's good to score early against this Hammond defense. Also for the Bill Lippin, make sure they have a defensive shutdown. Hammond's good for scoring quick and early, so make sure Bill Lippin has a defensive shutdown against them. And also, lastly, have an offensive explosion. Bill Lippin has Kyle Wright, Ryan Fleming, Trey Norman, and Moss, other people. So with all those three factors in, they can make things happen against the Hammond defense. For Hammond, Glitt needs to have a hard start. Uh, he has Lucas Prickett, who missed last week's game due to injury, had over seven catches. So with those two going at it, they should make things happen against that Bill Lippin defense. Uh, they got to make sure their defense line has a repeat performance of last week. Uh, Birch and uh, Huntley got to the backfield pretty quick, causing all kind of wrecks about uh, in the backfield for Lawrence man. So if they can get to the backfield, they can pretty much slow down Trav Beatty and Kyle Wright in that backfield. Then also, speaking of Kyle Wright, they make sure they spy on him. They can be all over the field. They get quick post outs. In the he can do quick bursts up the middle. He's very patient in the hole. So they got to make sure they have that linebacker spy on him and then make sure that he does not want around the place because Kyle Wright is a pretty elusive running back. So spy on Kyle Wright. That's the keys to the game. Other games that's going around around the state, you got Lugoff Elson taking on HD floor. You got Blythewood taking on Westwood, which will be a good matchup between those two teams. Lexington will be taking on North Augusta, which is a good battle between undefeateds. Uh, North Augusta, we'll be seeing them next week when we take on when North Augusta takes on the White North Timberwolves. And then lastly, Gilbert will be taking on Airport. Last night, we had some games moved up to Thursday due to uh, the evacuations of different areas, it's like that due to Hurricane Irma. So uh, last year, last night's games was moved up. Like, for example, Sunter and Spain Valley, they played last week. No, last night, correction. Uh, Sunter went on to lose against Spain Valley, 51-34. to The Spain Valley was down 21-3, to and then they came back up and then defeated Sunter by the uh, office explosion. So great job for the Vikings as they defeated Sunter, 51-34. to Power Prep defeats uh, Heathrow Hall 31-14. to So Marcus Lattimore and that team got also regroup and get things right for that. So that's the game scores for the night from Thursday night. We will be back for the post game as the Lewis Sickens Player of the Game Award will be awarded to the best player of the night. Uh, that will be pretty much you know, showing how well he played. And he's a factor for the team. So make sure you come back for the post game. So for the Lewis Sickens Player of the Game. Also, to watch us throughout the night, we have pretty much the student session cam, the fan cam, shielded cam, all kinds of cams for Kristen and Opie. So make sure you tune in on our Walk On's Facebook page and then make sure you follow us for all the updates of the games, as for scores and such for. So make sure you follow our Walk On's Facebook page and on our Twitter page. 
Uh, also a reminder, we'll be at White North High School on next Friday as the White North Ten Wheels take on the North Augusta, North Augusta Yellow Jackets. So make sure you follow us on both pages, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We'll be updating you on what's going to happen next week. And also we'll be talking with Coach Howe on next Wednesday at White North in preparations of the high school game day show coming there. If you'd like to become a sponsor, make sure you email, email us at sales at freethinkersradio.com. We'd love to hear from you. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you email us or comment us on our videos. We'll see you at halftime. Make sure you stay tuned on our high school game day show. If you miss the tax deadline, Javis Tax Service can help. There are certain circumstances that allow for a tax extension without additional fees. We can let you know if you qualify for this service. If you still need to file, we can get the paperwork in quickly and ensure that all fees or penalties are met. It's better to file late taxes than not file at all to avoid garnishments. Use Javis Tax Service to help get your taxes filed quickly and correctly. For more information to set up a free consultation, call Javis Tax Service at 803-851-7112. That's 851-7112. Easy come, easy go.